During the Second World War, 384 British prisoners of war on board the Lisbon Maru were rescued by the fishermen of Zhou Shan's Dongji Island after the vessel was sunk in waters of the province's coast. On Tuesday, 15 relatives and direct descendants of these British soldiers visited the island, toured the Lisbon Maru Rescue Memorial Hall, exchanged gifts with the relatives of the local fishermen, and paid their respects at the site of the sunken ship. At around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a ship slowly approached the site of the sunken Lisbon Maru located about two nautical miles off the coast of Qingbang Island in Zhou Shan's Dongji Township. More than a dozen descendants of British soldiers dispersed the paddles over the sea in memory of their ancestors. The sea was rough, but Karen Birch, at the age of almost 80, stood solemnly by the cabin door, gazing out over the vast ocean where her cousin rests. My brother tried to find out where Kenneth was and could never find out. And he died before all this came to light. So I am doing what he should have done. More than 1,800 British prisoners of war were on board the Japanese vessel Lisbon Maru on October 2, 1942, when it was mistakenly sunk by the U.S. Navy in the waters off Zhou Shan. Fortunately, 384 of these British soldiers were ultimately rescued by Zhou Shan fishermen and brought ashore to safety. This visit to Dongji Island was not just a commemoration, but also a gesture of gratitude towards the brave fishermen who had offered their help 82 years ago. That's what Dad said, if it wasn't for the Chinese fishermen, he wouldn't have survived and I wouldn't be here. So, and, and my children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren wouldn't be here. So I'm very grateful for that. Liang Yingdi, director of the Dongji Township Culture Station, recounted how her grandfather had rescued several British soldiers from the sea and put them up in his home. Despite the scarcity of supplies at the time, he managed to offer rice, flour, sweet potatoes and new clothes I grew up listening to that story. We need to pass on this show of bravery and kindness on behalf of the fishermen. There's no fear where there's great love. During the commemoration, descendants of the fishermen served the sweet potato soup to the British guests, which was exactly the same meal that had been prepared by the Dongji fishermen for the British soldiers all those years ago. A little emotional. And it was good for the prisoners of war to have that. This is about humanity. This is about helping other human beings. Life on the island was tough at that time. Sweet potatoes were a precious commodity, but our forefathers did not hesitate to bring them from their homes and share them. The British guests also visited the Lisbon Maru Rescue Memorial Hall and had the opportunity to experience the fishermen's paintings. They express their hope for continued exchange to uphold this enduring friendship, which has now continued for generations. It's such a big, big thing in history. But this is a, a very good a memoriam, and people will come, I think, more and more. I think they've done a great job. Well, I think it's good they're passing the information down through the generations, and the younger generations get to know about it. And uh, it shouldn't be forgotten. We will